Okay, let's do some science. Well, okay, so we have a creature, creature A, and then it produces creature B, creature C. But a creature C has a horn. Or a little bump, actually. Or something. Something very small or minute. And then, like, there's another animal. There's another creature. And it, it can easily kill the creature without the horn. So that goes away. And, of course, the horn creature goes and makes more horn creatures. See, this one has a big one. And then this kind of creature is like, oh yeah, but I can still kill some of these. So it kills that. And maybe even that one. So now this one survives. Because it has a tougher time killing the ones with bigger horns. And that keeps going until you have this creature with this horn. And it kills this creature. Because this creature cannot adapt. But this creature might one day develop a way to counteract the horns. Like a, a horn dip or something to catch the horns. Because that's obviously how horns work. And it says, haha, now I can kill you. But that only happens over time, because maybe sometimes it has a really tiny horn divot. You see? Maybe. Maybe it's a guy, and he has eyes. But they aren't blue. But this person does have blue eyes, and they go get to make more blue eye people. Which make more blue eye people. Or like, um, you have a, a finch. And it has a big old beak, but there's only worms. So over time, the over generations, the smaller, thinner beaks are able to get finches better. So, or not finches better, but worms better. So if the small beak can get worm, that means smaller beaks make more small beaks. And then now the finches have just small beaks. But maybe they have small beak, and they need to eat a nut, and nuts require big fat beaks. Then over time, the bigger beaks will get more food, and more big beaks will survive. You know?